and the end of his earthly life. That takes a lot of guts. That takes a lot of <clears throat> a lot of faith to do that. So we too can be changed in Christ, given approval by God, learn freedom, and listen for God's voice in our lives. And we too can go down in the valley of need and serve Christ and take the walk that leads to the cross. For I know this church has great mission work. And it, it reaches out to other people. It helps the needy people of the community. It supports the food pantry. This church is blessed in what it does. For in serving others, we are serving Jesus Christ. And above all, this morning, I draw your attention to the communion table. For this is a reminder to us that the glory of God is here. If by faith we wait for God to speak to us. <clears throat> so we need to look at this table in a new way this morning. It's to see it as a means for our transformation. Uh, our transfiguration. It, as a means for God to speak through us and to us. So here we can look for the glory of God as we take the cup and eat the bread. We look for the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And then we listen. Listen for what he has to say. And what he wants us to do when we leave this building. <clears throat> then we can get off our knees, on our feet, and get ready to go out and serve. And may you serve gladly and joyously in his name. Let us pray. <clears throat> Precious Father, we thank you that you call us here to take communion and to serve Jesus Christ. We pray that you will touch our lives in such a way with your Holy Spirit that we may feel the presence of Jesus and be led to go out of this building renewed and determined to serve you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now as we take the offering this morning, let it be a time to show glory to God, to share your resources and to listen to his voice. May we have the offering.
It is time now for our prayer experience together, and I've got a number of prayer requests here. Are there others? I think this is it. We want you to remember today John Snyder undergoing treatment for lung cancer and for his family during this difficult time. Pray for Betty De Palma, still hospitalized with injection, waiting the test results to make the next step. And for Greg De Palma, who was also hospitalized with an injection in his leg. Pray for that family. My uncle, Tom Maxwell, who has to have two toes removed due to diabetes, pray that the surgery works to save his leg. Sue Borsha, as she fights cancer, pray that the insurance company will pay for her expensive test. Lois Thompson, Scheduled for knee replacement surgery on Tuesday. Praying for Susie D. Donato, who is still in a coma. Pray for her family as well. Please let us join now in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we want to hear your voice in our prayers and worship. We want to learn more perfectly to do your will. We want to walk on the mountaintop with Jesus and also in the valleys. We want to give our lives fully over to Jesus Christ, who by his death and resurrection has saved us from our sins and lifted us up to eternal life. You give us life, O Christ, and teach us to share our life with those in our home, our school, our community, and those around us. Lead us in the path of service and love, that we, we may reach out to others, and tell them that Jesus is alive, so that others may turn to you. Bring healing to those who suffer. 